Hi all, welcome back to my channel and our kayaking adventures. Before this video begins, I want to take a second and wish you all a very happy new year. I hope that 2021 brings you happiness, good health, and good fortune. And as we look past at 2020, remember that life's roughest storms prove the strength of our anchors. And a smooth sea never made a skillful sailor. After the previous day's nine hour drive from North Carolina to Florida, we were excited to get ourselves out on the water. However, we needed to start with a short paddle. After all, we still had to run errands to get the house prepared for the next 29 days we were going to be there. Thinking back to some of the past favorite locations, we thought we'd begin this adventure at Manatee Cove Park. It is located on Merritt Island. The last time we were there, we saw scores of manatee, one of which accidentally almost tipped over my kayak as it swam underneath. We had hoped the water temperature would be sustainable to see the manatee in a canal. Manatees need warm water to survive and cannot tolerate temperatures below 68 degrees Fahrenheit for long periods of time. The air temperature was 66 degrees and it was cloudy, so it wasn't going to be very promising that these large, lovable creatures would be around. This would be somewhat a cold day for a native Floridian, but this wouldn't be the coldest weather we would experience on this trip. And after the cold days we had been having in North Carolina, it was a welcoming warmth. As we paddled out of the canal toward the Indian River, we set a course for Triangle Island, which is a small spoil island not too far from the put-in. A spoil island is a man-made island often created as a byproduct of channel dredging. There are many spoil islands along the Indian River Lagoon. Some are protected for wildlife to thrive. Others are nice places to visit when enjoying the water. There was a slight breeze and a few waves. It was a great feeling to have the salt water being blown across my face something I've missed while chasing waterfalls along the Appalachian Mountains. The best place to access the island is a small beach on the west side of the island. As we got closer to the island, the water started to get a bit choppy. This was the first time we've paddled these new kayaks in Florida. While we did paddle these kayaks in North Carolina's Outer Banks, Florida's intercoastal waterway feels a bit different, and it was great to see these kayaks handle so well here. Not far in front of us, I noticed something bobbing up and down in the water. First, I thought it could be the tail of a manatee, but it turned out to be a dead stingray. We don't really see many dead stingrays when kayaking. We stopped, took a little bit of video, then continued on our journey to Triangle Island. Upon arriving to the island, we took a small break, enjoyed a snack, and rehydrated with some water. Walking around the island, we found many puffer and catfish dead, washed up on the shore. Between the stingray we saw on the water and now these fish, I'm thinking there could have been an algae bloom in the area. Brevard County has been taking great steps to reduce the contaminants entering the lagoon. However, there's still a long way to go. After our island break, we got back on the water, hoping to catch some living wildlife. We figured we'd paddle around the island a little bit and just enjoy being out on the water.
It wasn't long before we found this bird feasting on its fish. We watched for a while to see how it was going to manage its oversized dinner. It was clear once the bird dropped its fish, it was quite upset. And after it flew away, we thought we'd make our start heading back to land. We still had a full day of errands to run. As we paddled, we found more puffer fish floating in the water. I checked the news later on that night, but saw nothing about an algae bloom in the area. So I can't say with confidence that's what was going on, but that would be my best guess. I hope you enjoyed the first day of our 29 day December adventure. There will be several great places we visited that I can't wait to share with you all. Stick around, join Team Kayak 7 Seas by subscribing to this channel. Hit that notification bell to get an alert for the next video when it is ready. Hit that like button, share this video with a fellow kayaker. They might enjoy this place to paddle. Leave a comment, let me know what you think of my videos. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. I hope to catch you out on the water someday.